Trapeze artists are acrobats that flip and fly through the air before getting caught by a partner. They're wonderful athletes and so much fun to see at the circus. Today, we are going to create our very own trapeze artists. They'll look just like this, flying through the air in whatever positions you choose. For this project, you'll need a piece of paper, as well as either a ribbon or a piece of string, and some kind of stick. This is a chopstick, you can use a pencil, or even something you find outside. You'll also need scissors, tape or glue, and then markers and crayons to color. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper in half, long ways. This will give me kind of an idea of how much space I should spend on each artist. We're going to draw two. Now, on both sides, you're going to draw one of your artists. And we're going to keep the shapes really simple because we're cutting them out and because we're going to be gluing them in lots of different positions. So I'm going to start with the head and then the neck before going up really tall for a very basic arm shape. I'm going up over my head because I'm reaching for that other trapeze artist that I'm working with who's going to catch me as I flip and fly. Now I'm going to go down and the same thing, draw very simple legs. Same thing for the other side. Once I have the shapes of my trapeze artists, I'm going to start coloring them in and giving them faces. I'm gonna do a boy for one and then a girl for the other. You can choose to do whatever kind of trapeze artist you'd like. I'm gonna start with the hair and just give it an outline. I'm not adding too much space on top because I wanna make it very easy to cut out. Now I'm gonna draw the eyes, nose and mouth. Same thing for my other artist. Next up is their costumes. I'm gonna be having them in long, full-bodied leotards. You can choose to do something different if you'd like. And I'm gonna start by outlining their body, but I'm cutting away space. I'm drawing away for where their hands and their feet will go. Once I've outlined, I need to come up with a pattern. This is the circus. It needs to be something fun and colorful. For this first one, I'm doing stripes, but you can do something completely different. You can do dots, you can maybe do different color stripes, or you can do whatever you can think of. Stars, make it patriotic, whatever you want. Pause here until you finish. Or if you're done like me, you can do the skin. So I'm just gonna quickly with a crayon color in my skin for my head, arms, neck, and feet. Time to work on my second trapeze artist. This time I'm doing the skin tone first for no apparent reason, however you wanna do it. 
But I am going to magically make his costume appear right now because I want you to create your own. So three, two, one, and oop, I was a little off. Oh, well, there it goes. Here is my second costume for my trapeze artist. Be sure to stop here, pause, and create your own design for what you want your trapeze artist to be wearing. Ta-da! They are almost ready. Now I need to cut them out. So I'm going to carefully cut along my bodies. And if you did it maybe a little bit too thin in some areas, you can always cut it larger and then refill it in with crayon or marker later. We wanna make sure we don't lose any arms or legs. If you need someone to help you cut, that would be a really great thing to ask for help for. All right, there's my first one, and my second one is here. There we go. So pause while you cut out your second trapeze artist. When both of your artists are cut out, flip them over, and it's time to color in the backs of them. So I'm gonna look for what color hair this one had, it was black. And using my black marker, I'm gonna color in the back of their head. I don't need to focus as much on their eyes, nose, and mouth. Then I'm gonna color in their costume, the same pattern as before. So if you need to flip it over and take a look, you can. I'm gonna mark out where their feet and their hands are before coloring in their costume, just like that. Same thing for the second one, except she has brown hair. So make sure if you need to, you look and see what your trapeze artist's hair color is and what their costumes look like before you fill it in on the back. Be sure to pause here and take your time. Look, I'm gonna magically make it happen, but yours will take a little bit more time. All right, when they are colored in, they are ready to fly. And what's great is you'll be able to create all sorts of different positions for them. You can practice and see what you like. If you want to put their arms and legs together, if you want to rotate, have them holding each other, it's up to you. But there's lots of different moves and flips and twirls they can be put into as they spin through the air. Now we need our trapeze which is what they hang from while they're performing. So I'm gonna tie my string on either side of a straight stick, chopstick, pencil, straw, whatever you have, just like this. And now I kind of get to play around with what position I want them to be in. So I think I'm gonna have this one hanging from the uh, trapeze and then somehow I want her to be attached so I think he's gonna be holding on with his knees like so and you can play around with it before you find the design that you want your trapeze artist to be in either way any way you do it it's going to look fabulous When you're ready and you know what position you want your artist to be in, you can begin gluing them down. I'm gonna first glue him to the trapeze 
And then I'm going to secure him to her so it looks like she is below him flying through the air as he holds them both on the trapeze. There you have it. Be sure to hang your trapeze artists somewhere where you can admire their strength, beauty, and artistry. Have fun at the circus.